Hey folks, and welcome back for more. Let's play the Pandora Directive, and I forgot to save between videos. Yes, there we go. Let's move this newspaper, shall we? What's this? Man, this fake doggy do looks real enough to step in. Well, fake doggy do could come in handy, you never know. Man, this fake stuff looks so real. We'll make a great gag. Can you imagine the look on somebody's face when I... Hey, wait a second. Oh, sick! Those police dogs were in here. <laughs> oh, Tex. For a detective, you sure don't observe Sorry, things Max. very well. First things first. You, you know, you should wash your hands instead of just rubbing them with newspaper. Just, just a tip there, you know. But really, there's not much more you can do in here. Right about the time Grandpa started wearing Huggies, I used to switch one of these for his real dentures. <laughs> a lot of good memories here. That's horrid! Hmm. Empty cardboard You're getting boxes. to that point in your life where that's not hmm. going to seem like such a funny thing there. What's this? There's a door built into these bricks. And that leads back out onto the street. However, that's not what we care about right now. We care about this ladder. And where it may take us. Coit Tower rises regally over the surrounding slag heap. The fuchsia flamingo illuminates the night, a neon beacon of bad taste. The fuchsia. There's a bird. But it won't let us dead. No. That bird wants to leave a present on my fedora. I can just feel it. Yeah, it's pretty likely. Yeah, ventilation pipes. Now that we're up on uh, Rusty's roof here. I could use a cooling unit like this in my office. Nilo's too cheap to put in air conditioning. Darn. Let's climb this ladder. Since we're up here and looking around. Well, I won't be able to get into the water tower without a key. And see, the thing is, if we had the key, it would automatically open. But we don't have that key. We have a key, but it's not the right one. The right key would just automatically open. And let's see what this takes us. Or where this... In case you're wondering, this is... I believe Rooks. I could use a cooling unit like... Uh, ventilation. We can't really see it. Ritz Hotel. But we're directly across from the Ritz, which, if I'm not mistaken, should put us right directly on Rook Garner's roof. One of these will put us on Rook Garner's roof. Which actually becomes important. Well, I'm surprised later. this skylight hasn't had all the. But that is for the end of the day, not now. But we have done pretty much everything we need to do at Rusty's. So, and we have talked to Gary. We have talked to that. Uh, we've talked to Mac, not that. So. Let's go see if we can figure out what that key is for, since I already know. Let us... we can run back to the Acme Warehouse. Travel to. And see, what it didn't tell you is that the key we have actually works on that warehouse. That key he handed us is actually the warehouse key. It doesn't show us getting in here. Yeah, that key that uh, Crazy Gary handed us. Yeah, that was a where a key to this warehouse. That door leads back to the street. And due to a bug in the game, it didn't actually make us open the. It didn't actually make us just rock over and open the door first before opening up this location to us. I guess it's a nice touch since it doesn't really give you much clue on what that's for. But, you know. It would have been nice if they'd actually given you more of a uh, go-ahead. These crates are all rotting comfortably. Oh, control box. Here we have a control box. What 
does this control? Is this still the... Yeah, this is still the crane mechanism, but if you look, it's a little bit more detailed. This button must turn on the pulley system. Looks like the button could be used to lift cargo. This button probably lowers stuff. This is the right button for me. This button moves things toward the hand I don't eat with. <laughs> Just in case you're curious, yes, that pulley system is still the same pulley system we had in the last game, the one we used to hang the doll on. Only here you see it's positioned above that one crate. Now let's go take a look at this crate over here. What's this? It's a crate. With Thomas Malloy's name stenciled right on the side. Hmm. I'll need to move it out of that tight corner before I can open it. So we need to move this crate. Well, if we need to move this crate, let's see if we can get the... Let's see if we can get this to work. Is it lowered? Yes, it is. The slots on the trolley are lined up with the ring on top of Malloy's crate. Now we just need to find something to connect them with. Will that work? That won't no, work. That won't work. Nope, I don't think the jackknife will work either. That doesn't seem to do no. it. Of course it won't. So what we need to do is continue to look around. Man, the rent here must be pretty cheap if someone wanted to store wood pallets. These are either oxygen tanks or uh, artillery shells. Well, let's hope they're oxygen These tanks. These crates are all rotting comfortably. These crates are all rotting comfortably. Arr, well, shiver me timbers. It's a pirate's chest. It just happens to be the only other thing we can open in this place. So let us open it. Arr, well, sh Arr, a peg leg. I hope all the prosthetic devices didn't belong to the same pirate. <laughs> that could be bad. Must belong to the guy with a hook. Well, blow me down! It's a Lucky Pierre signature souvenir pirate hat! This is not talk Store like a pirate sharp. Day Day Probably the reason for the peg leg. That's a nasty hook. You can put an eye out with that thing. Yep. But that is the only thing we can get in here. In that chest. We don't need the rest of it. Well, let's take a look at our peg leg here. Believe it or not, that is what we need. Because if you look at this, the remember, slots on the trolley are lined up with the ring on top of Malloy's crate. Now we just need to find something to connect them with. We can use the peg leg to wedge that in there. Let's look. Well, the hook appears ready for action. No, the peg leg does. The hook's still on the chest. Ha ha. So, now, we walk back over here. We go race. That ought to do the trick. Goody. Apparently, he turned it off to save power. Well, what's this? We got something under here. Looks like something fell out of Malloy's crate. Well, yoink. And examine a map of Southeast Asia. Hmm, interesting. Hmm, what's this? Plains of Nazca. Hmm. I don't see Plains of Nazca, huh? It's a rug or a wall hanging. this. So let's examine that. This is certainly an interesting design. I wonder what type of symbols these are. They look kind of similar to the ones we've had, don't they? And a photograph on a postcard, the Plains of Nazca. Now maybe you've already noticed this, maybe you haven't, but somehow it seems like the Plains of Nazca 
and other Yucatec symbols have been kind of prominent so far. May not mean anything, but it might mean everything. Who knows? So, what we need to do now is figure out where we can get some more information on Yucatec. And we've already ruled out most of the people on the street, but there's one guy we haven't talked to yet. So, a Chelsea left town, eh? Well, I was wondering how long it'd take before you drive around in the state. Oh, that's not very nice. Uh, apparently you haven't heard everything. Someday, Chelsea and I will tell you the rest of the story. Keep dreaming, Murphy. Dreams are healthy. So what are you here for? Never heard the name. I read about the Black Arrow Killer in the newspaper. Why are you asking me about him? He was arrested in Nevada some time ago. Arrested? Huh. That imbecile. He's been trying to make problems for Louis. He doesn't eat meat and thinks anyone who does is a barbarian. Moron. Hmm. Of course I've heard about it. I just doubt I know any more about it than you. I've heard that a stranger's been seen lurking around the neighborhood lately. I figured it was just you getting your joils. Nice. How should I know who that is? The flamingo looks a little too flashy for my taste. Well, if it wasn't for me, he'd still be camping out in the dumpster. I told him I was going to charge him rent, and he moved up to Coit Tower. Well, I don't know where he got the money to open his chocolate stand. He probably stole it. Hmm. We might have to go look into that later. Never heard the name in my life. Maybe not. As a matter of fact, I just received a large number of reference books from an estate. If I'm not mistaken, one of the books was titled Yucatec Made Easy. You can buy it if you'd like. $30. Hey. That helps. Well, I hope my new purchase will help me out. So do I. Let's see. No. no. I've seen. And don't think we've learned too much. Uh, don't think we've learned too much new. Okay. That's all we need from him. But now we've got a Yucatec book. So let's let's combine items. Where's the untranslated letter? There it is. We combine it with the Yucatec book. And now we can examine it. Dear Thomas, I apologize for the delay in responding to your letter. It had to be forwarded several times and finally caught up to me here in Chiapa, Mexico. Doing field work... Doing field work can make me difficult to track down. It was good to hear from you and see that your Yucatec is still exceptional. I was also happy to hear that I was able to help out with your deciphering work. The similarities between some of the symbols you sent me and those in the new Mayan codices I've discovered are quite stunning. You may be interested to hear about some of my recent work. As I've related, there are many local legends in the area that seem to confirm some of your theories. I admit I've been skeptical, but recent discoveries have made me rethink my position. Several weeks ago, I met an ancient local man who gave me a set of drawings of ancient Mayan hieroglyphs which I will reproduce below when you see those there. The translation reads, Four Aha, Eight, Kumuku, Black Sun Sky, Four Gods, Divine Bird Mountain. Four Aha, Eight, Kumuku is, of course, the date at which the Mayan calendar begins, corresponding to 3113 BC on the Gregorian calendar. Experts have always believed that this date was arbitrary and that the Mayan culture didn't even exist until the first century AD. As to the remainder of the translation, Black Sun may refer to a solar eclipse. The other symbols can be translated conservatively or radically, depending on your disposition. Either way, I'm trying to convince the old man who gave me the symbols to take me to where he found them. He believes that the place is holy ground and told me that no man has entered there for centuries. He refers to the location as the birthplace. Of course, I'm intrigued. Hopefully my next communication will have more details. 
By the way, you said you have a package to send me. Since I'll be doing field work on and off, why don't you send it to me take care of the Sap Sack Pickle Hotel and Shop? Best regards, Oliver Edison. So we have a new name and possibly a new location. The Sack Pekal Hotel. But with that, we need to cut the video because it is time. So, see you next time, folks. Take care, everyone.